Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is Vlogmas Day 6 and I'm so excited to be able to bring you this video. Especially coming off of Day 5 which was the completion of my whole bath. And today we are taking it slow. I'm getting started in the morning. We're just um, cleaning up the kitchen because I have to say with me focusing in on the bathroom, I have been letting a couple of areas in my home slide and one being in the kitchen and also the area that I'm gonna share shortly with you. So we're just making ourselves some tea and while the water's boiling, we're just going to clean up within the kitchen. So I know we have been chatting on a daily basis over the past week and I've been loving it. But guys, tell me what your holiday plans are. Are you gonna be hosting? Are you gonna be traveling? Have you started shopping yet? Leave it down in the comments, I'm curious. I have been taking it relatively slow this year and I know it's gonna be a mad rush at the end, but I am enjoying it. Yes, I'm gonna put a fly. Baby, you give me a bit that You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me in line and dry. Hello, everyone. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. Today is day six of Vlogmas, and yesterday it was a little late. I think I got the video up a little after eight o'clock. Um, it's outside of the normal six o'clock that I've been posting, but I was able to complete this makeover and share it with you. So if you haven't watched this reveal, you definitely want to. You can pause this video and go check that one out. It's going to be linked in the description. You will not um, be disappointed with the reveal. I was able to bring all of my vision to life in this space and I absolutely love it and I think that it is beautiful and functional. Now while I was creating this space over the past week I wreaked havoc on this landing area with just you know the items that I was pulling out of the bathroom that I have to rehome or get rid of or just the building supplies that I was using. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to clean up this space and hopefully work on either the linen closet or I'm gonna get started on painting these doors black. So depending upon how much time I have, we'll decide which project I do today. But the first thing on the list is to finish my tea and tackle this mess. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna let you guys see what we're working with. So this is right outside of the bathroom. We don't have a huge home. It's a um, 16, actually 16 or 1700 um, Central Hall Colonial. We have three bedrooms and they're all up on this floor and they lead off of this little landing right here. So this is everything that we need to tackle and then the linen closet is straight ahead in that area. And we have five doors here on this landing. And on the first floor, we've already painted all of those doors black. So I just want to just give these doors a fresh coat of black paint, makes it look really nice and it updates the space. So we're gonna get started. So 
So I'm just trying to um, group like items together. Right now I'm just grouping everything that needs to be returned back down to the basement or the garage so that I can just make one big trip. So much trash accumulated. Everything that's in that pan is trash. As you can see, I have the paper for the rug um, just laying there. So this is gonna feel really good just getting everything all put away and the space all cleared out. I had picked up a backup um, for the shower curtain, so I'm going to be returning the second one that I didn't use. I am just loving the way that the light is filtering in through the blind and the window and how it's bouncing off that rug. I am so happy that I followed my original vision and purchased, actually found the right size and purchased it. It looks amazing in the space. Okay, so I left the two cans of paint. One we're gonna be using, and then the white, I am gonna be doing some touch-up paint, so I didn't wanna bring it downstairs. And then I have that empty bin and that tray. We're possibly going to be using it in um, the linen closet, but I'm not sure. So I decided that we're going to paint these two doors, and we'll do the linen closet on another day. So that is my favorite collage. That was our first photo shoot as a family years ago, but I absolutely love it. It used to be in our living room and we brought it up here um, once we redid the living room and put the TV above the fireplace. So I painted all of the doors downstairs all black and the technique that I like is to just use a brush. Um, this black paint goes on really well on the doors and especially because we have panel doors I'm able to get in all the grooves and get good coverage. It usually takes me two coats so right now I'm just doing the base coat. It will be a little streaky but when I go in with the second coat it really smooths everything out and the black really looks solid and it looks absolutely beautiful. So I am just taking my time, making sure that you know I get good coverage and I 
had second thoughts i was like i have wall-to-wall -wall carpet what am i thinking by not putting something down just in case i drop something so i just briefly stopped and i went and i grabbed a towel and i just have that down right below where i'm painting so that if there's any drips it'll just go on the towel and it won't go on the carpet and i'm so glad that i realized that and that i took the time to just you know add it there so as I was painting, I didn't even tell my husband he was working in the living room. So he just came up the stairs and he saw that I was painting and he loves black. Well, he's grown to love the color black because anywhere that I've added it in the home, it has turned out absolutely beautiful. So right behind me, behind the camera is my son Alex and my husband Marino and they're talking to me while I paint. So if you see me making funny faces, it's at them and it's not at you. So I always start out with just painting the outside of the door so I'm still not sure if I'm gonna paint both sides so I'm just making sure that I don't get any paint on the sides or on the reverse side of the door so I have a technique that I do I load up the brush and then I go in close but not all the way and then I sort of like jiggle my hand and then it gets to the edge without going over. It's a really good technique. Um, it makes the painting very easy for me. The key is to always make sure that your brush is loaded up because usually when you get brush um, strokes like on other areas that you don't want it to be on, it's because you didn't have enough paint on your brush and you were overcompensating for it. So just always make sure that you load up the edge of your brush. So I am truly thankful for each time that I'm able to cross something off of my endless to-do list. So today with me being able to clear the landing and then start painting these doors, that is a big feat for me. So I'm pretty thankful about that. And then also because I need to allow enough time for the doors to dry before I do the second coat, I was only able to do one coat today, which is totally fine. I will be finishing up tomorrow and moving on to the next project. So I just wanna thank you guys for joining me today. 
This is how one coat on both doors look. They look absolutely amazing and by tomorrow we'll be ready for a second coat. So I wanna thank you for joining me today. We're going into the project recap so that you can see a lot of our recent projects that I'm super proud of. The playlist is gonna be linked in the description in case you wanna check out those videos. And until tomorrow, have a blessed day.